can't believe that red kite. Bloody hell. But I mustn't let something like that. Oh. Damp and what a fantastic week we've had. Suffolk is all done and dusted uh, and we're on our way home but we've decided to have a few hours at Lake and Heath uh, which is another RSPB reserve uh, near Brandon. We've just had 10 minutes and a coffee um, by a, a new photo sort of hide screen blind whatever you want to call it uh, which wasn't here last time. Um, tried to get a couple of shots off of some great tits and blue tits just to get my eye in before we start. I'm not sure I've ever been at this time of year so I don't know what to expect. Of course the big species that we're hoping for is crane and also possibly bitten. Although I'm not. Um, got too many hopes of bitten. They are very elusive and definitely a right place, right time bird. So let's carry on and see what we can come up with today. Here we go. Stopped off at the first viewing screen. Um, like most places this week, it's a little quiet at the moment. But again, it's that time of year. Um, we've got a little egret in front of us. Um, we've had wrens singing. Um, a huge flock of geese over that way too far away to ID, couldn't hear them either. Probably Pinkfoot, but because uh, they've started to arrive. Ooh, you know, Heron calling in the background there. opened up some of these trackways, where is it there, um, in the reed beds since the last time I came. We used to have to walk on the sort of rough gravelly track over there, which was very noisy and uh, you couldn't see much. But yeah, they put this walkway in, it was right through the reed beds, it's very nice. I feel more connected to the reserve. It was there until we came around the corner. We just caught this fish that must have been, I don't know, eight, ten inches long. I don't know we fish very well, but perch probably something like that. do not seem to be bothered by our presence at all. It's having too much success. I did get a couple of photographs of it plunging into the water and one with it coming out with the fish. I'll put them up. Um, very nice. Since the little experiences like this, heron, it's not an uncommon bird, but just to watch it in its natural habitat, hunting, be successfully catching fish. This is what, for me, watching nature is all about. It's not about the rarities, it's not about the big stuff. It's about the everyday. Very nice. So we've just been in the near hide, uh, which is where there's one or two photographers in there waiting for the kingfisher patiently. Um, it did appear, but it just sat in the reeds to the side of the hide. Um, I could see it. I'll put this picture up so you can see where it was sat, but it was a good, I don't know, 40, 50 metres away. Um, and we haven't got time unfortunately to sit there for hour after hour. 
I don't want to leave in too late and get home late, so. Onwards and onwards. Closer towards these cranes, I hope. We've seen a lot of small coppers this week. Um, that one we've just seen there, I did get some photographs, which I'll pop up. Um, it was a lot deeper in colour, it's beautiful. A really fresh one. Lots and lots of colour in its wing. Um, that was very nice. Spotted by Lynn here. We noticed our Lynn's got a bit more subdued today so in her today. attire. She's just scared she's frightening everything off in her pinks and oranges and <laughs> <laughs> bright blues. I'm not sure if it does have an effect. Seen but today. <laughs> no, <laughs> true. With a bit on the quiet side. No luck with the crane so far, no luck with the bittens so far. I don't suppose we're really expecting to see him, even though you're hoping to see him. We do keep seeing the, um, the little fish and things scattering the water. As it, well, I guess it must be pike or something that's going after them. They keep scattering as if it's like a splash of water that goes out. That's quite good. Let's head back to the car park anyway. So unless we see anything between here and there, that's a goodbye for this week. Usual subscribe, comment, share, and ping. Bye for now. Well, something did happen. We're just walking back along the river and uh, we've had kingfisher three or four times hovering in front of us. Um, which is nice. Oh wow! I've never seen him do that. And again. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then we've just had a red kite fly over us. Um, but for some odd reason, the settings on my camera went funny, and they're all blurry. Got motion blur on them. I think Lynn got some good video. It's a good job we got the professionals with me. We'll see. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that red kite. Bloody hell. But I mustn't let something like that <sighs> dampen what a fantastic week we've had. One little mistake. And I missed some red kite pictures, but when I look back at hobby. Kestrels, the buzzard pictures, even things like the small copper earlier on, and the red deer, <laughs> the red deer. So the red kite disappointment will last a couple of hours and then that'll have gone. And when I start editing these videos and looking at the pictures, <laughs> the joy of everything else will come back. <laughs> but we all learn, we all make mistakes. That's how you get better at things. <laughs> Silly bugger. <laughs> Come on then, your highlight of the oh, week. No. <laughs> it was good seeing the Dartford warbler. That was good because we'd not seen them before and they were a bit elusive. But we did get some film, whatever, pictures. Sunrise on the first morning was lovely. That was spectacular. So, no, it's been really nice. Enjoyed it, it's just a bit short and over now. Back home. Yeah. <laughs>